Okay, here is one of my favorite girls back for her two weeks feel. These are still so very pretty, but they gotta go. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. Hello lovelies, welcome back to another Nine Lux Nails video. Today I have my client that came in for her two weeks feel. I am just using my ceramic drill bit on a speed of about five to six RPM and I'm just removing the old design. She comes back every two weeks so we don't really have much to feel or rebalance and she did not want them cut down. So I'm just going to remove the design, do the feel and then we'll get right into designing these nails. And just like that, she is filled in and ready to go for a new design. So I am just doing a Black History inspired set. So in this in-between time, this is after Valentine's Day. Many of my clients want February Valentine's, but still Black History. So with me being a freestyle nail tech, I do have to come up with designs on a whim on just what I want to do. So on this hand, we did a African styled Black History print. And on the other hand, we did solid red with a red heart. She did want a solid red hand to represent National Heart Month. February is National Heart Health Month. So she wanted a solid red hand and then she wanted a black and proud black history freestyle and she always loves cute designs. So I just went with a freestyle off the top of my head and created these gorgeous designs that went so well together. So I'm going to start by doing a color base on two of the nails. Again, I am freestyling, so I'm going I like to work by finger and what I know I want to do on specific fingers and then we just continue to move. So on these two fingers, I'm just going to do a color base and then we'll go in and add the designs. And don't ask me why I like to polish with my art brush i'm so in love with this art brush that it does not leave my hand so yes i could polish the nails with the brush that comes in the nail polish but the precision that i get with my art brush i just don't ask i love it though and i get a very good precise line even around the cuticle so i do love to polish with my art brush i'm one of them So after I get those fingers cured, I'm going to go in with my matte top coat. It is also a Beatles brand polish and I'm going to just get my surface dry so that I can have a little bit of precision with my drawing. So sometimes I use a no wipe top coat, sometimes I use matte. I'm always learning so I'm just looking at everything while I'm working so sometimes I get a better effect with clear depending on the design I'm doing and sometimes I get a better line work with matte and I know when I'm doing lines that I'm going to do on the black finger the matte works better so I just did matte on both but for the design that I did on the yellow finger I could have used clear or matte but I just used matte because I'm working with matte already so I'm just going in with my white polish and I'm going to do an abstract design on this black nail I am using very small amounts of polish and just trying to work a pattern out on her finger so I'm going to zip it and let you guys watch and then we proceed to design that yellow finger that was a fun design to do
And I always want to remind you that working with small amounts of polish allow you to manipulate the polish in a more crisp way. So as you can see, I'm just cleaning that box up, but I'm not adding any extra polish. I'm using the polish that's already there and then it's not moving. So I'm able to draw inside the lines all around it and it's not spreading or moving. This is the effect of the matte top coat and also using less polish. So I'm going to complete this entire finger without curing it and just cure it all at one time. And I just love working in that way. So it saves me time and it makes me perfect my craft to the point where I can design the entire finger and not have to continuously come back and move and move and move so I love it And now for this finger, I'm going to use the red, white, and green and just do a staggered static type design. I did see an inspo picture that was like, I don't know if it was a rug or if it was just a painting, but it had this static effect to it and I really liked it. So normally I would do a design like this, like I said, on the clear, but I thought the mat would help me drag it in a way and it kind of did so I'm not mad at it but I absolutely loved the design and I just ran with it 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 wasn't anything I've ever done before but it was new and it matched the set so I love it and I just follow through with it and this is called trust the process so when you are trying to create something new you just got to trust the process and I love how it turned out so I'm just going to zip it and allow you guys to watch me design this nail. Now with this design, because I am changing colors, I am going to cure 
after each color because I did not want them to bleed into each other and create a marble. I wanted the lines that I'm creating to stay there. So between each color, I did cure for about 10 seconds. Normally with line work and things like that, it does not take as long as a full nail curing. So I don't have to let the line sit in for 60 seconds because every time I take it out and put it back in, after I finish the design, it will have an equivalent of about 60 seconds. If that makes sense, it makes sense to me. So that's just how I work. And yeah, so after I do the red, I'm going to cure really quickly, 5-10 seconds, boop, do the next one. You don't want to overstimulate the client in the light, but you know, work smart, not hard. And now that design is done, I love how it looks. I love the contrast between the black and white. That's so cute. And now on this finger, I'm just going to add a white and green design because I still want to keep the white and green as a part of the set. And because they are just accents on the other finger, I gave them their own finger. So that's just a part of the process. In my freestyling I knew I wanted to do those two fingers and then to tie it in I just continue to let the colors do their magic so I'm just going to use my art brush to paint two coats of white on this finger and then I'll go in with my same green as I used on the yellow finger and do a swirl type of pattern
And here I am again with my fave red. This nail was going to be solid red, but I decided to add a little extra in the end because I was like, why not tie just a little bit of gold into this set? So I did do two coats of red and then I went in with this chrome line polish. It's a new chrome um, drawing chrome that I got off of Amazon. Normally I would take my chrome pigment and mix it with clear, but this chrome actually gives a chrome effect without having it looking like a chalky glitter. So sometimes that makes a difference to me, especially with designs, and I wanted this to be a solid chrome. So no, it's not giving the gold gold chrome that I'm used to, but it saves me time and the design still turned out exactly how I want it. So on this finger, I am just adding a gold unk. I think that's how you say, um, like an African style unk. And it tied the patterns in so well, because again, that one finger was just gonna be a solid red, but I was like, hmm, let's just add another little layer of creativity and I just freestyled it. I didn't have a picture. I just went based off memory. I'm like, I think this is how this thing looks. So yeah, working on our toes. I still had minutes left in her nail session. And I'm always trying to utilize the time that I have with my client. I love it. And I love that polish. And y'all know it will be linked down below. This set came with gold and silver the silver chef's kiss the silver i will use time and time again it's so silvery chrome but it is very hard to get the gold chrome to look like gold chrome when you're trying to draw with it so i will keep purchasing things until i find that specific one but so far i love this gold it does not make me mad so <laughs> we will use it i will have it linked down below if you girls want to get it And after I finish this design, I will paint the other hand red and add the one red heart to represent National Heart Health Month. And this is the finished set. She loved it. It's so fun. Both hands make a statement. And that's all we need over here. If you want to give these a big thumbs up, don't forget to follow my socials.